Hey everybody, so I want another storage room. I'm gonna call this one the dungeon just because it's in this uh, little hole down here. I brought a flashlight. I think what I have to do is I'm gonna show you guys what the room looks like. And then I'm gonna line like 10 or 15 boxes here. We'll go through them before I put them on the bus. Um, I did bring a light though, it's not gonna help. It's so, uh, I got a little light there, but one second, I'm just gonna undo this. Hopefully it's, uh, the reason I bought this one, I saw some, uh, saw some stuff that looked like a vintage, some vintage Nikes. Oh, that was bad noise. But it's not that much stuff. It'll fit in the bus pretty easy. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a neat little mirror. The Jordan right there. It's got some speakers. But I saw this guy. Let's see if this guy's in here. He might not be. And then I'll bring out some boxes. It doesn't sound like he's there. No. Nope. Just some CDs in the direction uh, pamphlet, but we'll find out. All right, I'll put you on time lapse and see where we're at. So I got the first couple boxes out. I pulled out those two towers, Panasonic speakers, that mirror. I still have the shoes to pull out. And there's a couple rows of boxes in there. Um, I'll show you the boxes we pulled out and we'll go through a couple. So these were the boxes so far. There's some type of theme with the storage rooms I've been getting recently. Everyone has a Marilyn Monroe picture. It's probably almost three for three or something like that. Uh, well, Michael Kors is a good thing, but they're seashells. Another wooden box. Some uh, sand weight bags. Game like Uno. Eh, box isn't great. Oh, that's not good. Those all look like pictures. That sure looks moldy. Gross. That whole box is pictures. Doesn't look like anything yet. Some plates. Desk stuff, some office supplies, some new office supplies. Let's see what these are. A new pair of Timberlands. Those are cool. Don't look like they've been worn. Personal paper. Um, Christmas. This all looks like uh, bathroom linens. And here's a cool Batman thingy. Oh, it's a soap dispenser for Batman. That's pretty funny. Um, always like, uh, bathroom a lot just because people tend to take their jewelry off there let's see we forgot these two things over here so Marilyn oh. empty jewelry box that's all just bathroom supplies
cable boxes. Xfinity cable box. Eh, that might be sellable online. They've probably already lost their deposit. An Xfinity router. Um, it's funny, they don't give you anything at like Comcast or Verizon for returning a box. I mean, they'll charge you 250 bucks, but they won't give you anything for uh, being like, all right, I bought this at, oh. PlayStation 2, Wii games, what is this? So this is a PS2. Maybe these are PlayStation games. Yep. There's a little bit of money here. Uh, PlayStation 2 is kind of hard to sell. PlayStation's easier to sell. At least my um, experience. But it's nice that we have the whole system. So I don't know. I'd say 30 bucks in video games is my guess. Maybe a little bit more. Uh, was that Grand Theft? Well, this is always a good one. Grand Theft Auto. San Andreas for PlayStation. Ah, oh, it's busted. That's why it's out of there. But that sells well. Um, I'd say the first grouping... Oh, I missed the Shark vacuum cleaner. So the Shark, the Timberlands. I don't know. I'm only probably at... Uh, 70 bucks, 60 bucks, something like that. All right, I'm gonna clean this up and then I'll pull out another 10 boxes. All right, so after going through all that pile over there, I got that in garbage, this in personal, and a bunch of stuff for the flea market. Uh, I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse and I'm gonna pull out those boxes and the good thing is there's no big pieces of furniture so far, so I'm pretty happy. All right, I'm sorry about going into the dungeon and so dark. All right, put you on time lapse. All right, so this is what I just pulled out. We got about one more shot of uh, these boxes, and then that's that's all. Uh, I think I'm going to start with this one. It says notebooks. That's promising. What do you think? Do you think they're in there, or is it just office work? Ah, uh, boo. Sometimes you get gift cards in these, so I always just do a quick one through and or go through and then I go uh, put them with the personal. Well, I wish she had Uggs. More. Well, we got some office paper. That's not bad. Three by five cards. Stars. I wonder if my kids would want the stars. I wonder if it works. It's mace. Um, oh, that's kind of neat. It's a good luck bug. Different. And more personal. Alright. Next one. Right, we got a good picture frame. Looks like some kitchenware. Got a nice knife set in there. This is all good flea market stuff, so, I mean, that's kind of what I was looking for when I could always use the garbage bags for other things. They used them for packing. Um, 
but when I was buying this room, I, I was going for a good, uh, it's, it's, well, might be a good brand. I always sell these uh, the Pyrex things well. But. Seen anybody packing garbage bags before? It's kind of, I guess she packed a uh, milk bottle. Is kind of fun. I wonder if it's old. It actually, might be an old one. this bag to keep the glass from going around. Alright, so I got two garbage bags out of that and a bunch of sellable stuff. It right, looks like we got more pictures. Something in there. Nope, nothing, nothing special, but it's a neat little slotted box. Another speaker. A ton of good flea market frames. That one's kind of fun. And a little bit of signed art. A couple mush pennies. Get a lot of these. All those souvenir pennies. I guess another good flea market box, though. I would think that's probably another $20 bill. I'd probably say the kitchen's probably $15 to $20. Box three. Oh, we got some games. I think the vans are in there. No. It's actually not a bad art project somebody did. I'd say that's pretty good. I can sell that, especially with Halloween coming along. Did a pretty good job. Got the controllers too. It's the Monopoly in any special edition? No, just regular. The games sometimes sell. It's probably only a Another $10 box. Alright, what's in here? Cha-ching! Look at that. Tetris. We got a Game Boy Advance. We got a Robocop. That's pretty darn good. Pac-Man. I might keep Pac-Man for me. I've been playing Pac-Man recently. I don't know why. I'm alone. What was in here? Nothing. Take the batteries out just so it doesn't corrode. Oh, let's make sure it doesn't work. Might turn on. Yeah, it's still good in color. Right, I guess I'll leave the batteries in. So we got a Game Boy Advance with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games. That's pretty good. Let's see what else is in here. I guess anybody hungry for some Pez? We'll put that in with the games. More Pez. TV mounting bracket. Looks like a garment. Or something like that for your road. Uh, I don't think the iPhone's in there, but looks like a good iPhone charger. Let's see who looks like a connector. Yeah, that's the good one too, right there, the regular one. So could always use those when it. Anybody who has kids and if they they want to play on something, they always steal your chargers. Oh, 
guess that's it. Here's some of that. I guess the garment and the Game Boy were the, the winning things from this. Oh, we got some cards. SD cards. And more telephones for my telephone collection. I'm starting to get a pretty large collection of those. I probably have, I don't know. 70, 80 phones, maybe more. I'm gonna probably scrap most of that wire. It's too much uh, a pain in the butt to bring to the market. It won't sell. So I'll marry the other stuff over. Let's see. Bedroom, clothes. They had a dog. It's Nothing special in the clothes. Nothing hidden in the bottom. Alright, let's see what this one is. More clothes. Maybe some decent t-shirts. Extra large. Definitely was a big Batman fan. Batman cow. Ooh, we got a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles shirt. One's my size too, but I think I'm gonna give it to Naz. He's more a turtle guy. My uh, nephew is a huge Captain America fan. I might have to keep the Avenger one just because it has Captain America on it. He's only like five. Uh, no, he's four. So he'd be all excited about that Captain America. I think we'll marry this back box of clothes with that box of clothes. And that way I have an empty tote. Alright, this says Christmas and decorations. That's probably what it is. Yep. But that will sell. I'd say that box of clothes and the Christmas decorations will be lucky to get 15 bucks for both at the flea market. This was pretty heavy. Now towels, towels are good. I, see, towels are good because uh, they always sell for $2 a piece. And... Looks like they have a lot of them. Hand towels, I, they're hard, a lot harder for me to sell. Um, but full-size towels right, are definitely, this says towels and sheets. Sheets are another thing that are really easy to sell. It's definitely not towels and sheets. We got uh, all the Black Diamond uh, VHSs. Not that at one time those were worth a bunch of money online. I mean, people still have them listed for that, but I don't think they're selling. Only time to get really excited when you find them. Get, see, Captain America. I'll save that for my nephew, just in case he hasn't seen it. Yeah, the rest is all sheets. Man, I'm striking out on the pennies for the kids. New York Yankee uh, beer opener. Got a couple of those. Put those back. It's not a bad flea market tote. So between the, the two boxes of towels and the sheets, I would say 
30 to 40 bucks. Easy. Uh, this is probably more the $30. And, eh, maybe, maybe 50 bucks for the two. Uh, uh, let's see what's in this guy. <sighs> Some more white bags. Now yep, we got a Wii. There's always Wiis, but at least there's Mario Party. Well, we got both Mario, Super Mario. That's cool. Put that in with those VHS. I have sold hangers in the past, but I haven't been doing really great with them. They sell sometimes. Vitamins and bathroom stuff in there. That looks like glasses. Doesn't sound like they shipped very well. Budweiser. Eh, be lucky to get. Well, it had the Wii, so. All right, we'll say 20 bucks. I don't know. That was what came out of that load. We got one more, uh, one more pile to do. Uh, let's see, I can turn this on somehow before I take you into the dark. So, still have the shoes, and I got eight totes left. There's a microwave and a piece of scrap, but. Somebody popped the lockbox. That's sad. There's some Christmas. So we'll see what's in those totes. And I don't know. It's it's a good flea market room. It's just nothing super super exciting yet. All right, but I'm doing well. Next. All right, so this was the last of the boxes. Um, that's not that bad so far. I'm I'm pretty happy with this room. There's definitely a lot of. I'm happy that there's no furniture. And there's a lot of uh, flea market stuff. I'm gonna start this way and just work my way around. Would be nice if your giants little dude. Those always sell for ten. And it just looks like picturey frames of some sort. Definitely wasn't a bad artist. I think that's a soap dish or something. Doesn't look like any any jewelry of any sort. Still not a terrible box though. I honestly don't know if this. Let's see, this says Christmas and household. It is Christmas and household. Yeah. It doesn't even look like really good Christmas ornaments, just a few. I mean, sellable stuff. Looks like they were Jewish and Christian. Who knows? School stuff. All this school supply that I got in the last couple rooms, I hope people need it. They should. Drawing books, those are always good. These sketch pads are expensive to buy. And so, let's see. I'll say 30 bucks for those three. I like to average like 20 bucks a tote. Looks like more chemicals. Yep. 
that's not the best one. And we're getting a little better. We got a Batman bank. Like a Ninja Turtle Leonardo bank, but I think he's the wrong color. Um, a couple Hess trucks. A dolphin Genesis game. I wonder if there's a Genesis around here. Oh. Super Mario. Uh, make me go all the way to the bottom of this box. It's a disturbing magnet to put on your fridge. Might need to put it on the bus. And there's this one. Save the Tatas. Another Hess truck. Pumpkin carving kit and a Pokemon Game Boy game. So that's pretty good. We got the uh, and Scrappy the Mouse. I like Scrappy. The rest is all Halloween stuff, but it'll sell. I like how he cut the Batman out of the foam. That was pretty smart. I guess if you see a foam. Uh, some pumpkin, you could always carve your own design in it. All right, we got brand new tickets. Those are good. Something from Pandora, you think it's in there? Probably not. Just a nice box. Didn't, the reason I said probably not felt really empty. But these are nice. Seven fifty. So anything uh, seven fifty. If you don't want like seven thirty or eight thirty, eight twenty, when it has the times by fifty, that makes it a decent pair of binoculars. Probably a fifteen dollar pair of binoculars. First Lego figure. Second Lego figure. Five cards. We got change wrappers. Maybe that's why we haven't found any change. Ah, another Lego. I think that's from the movie. A good pair of scissors. Lighters. I wonder if the key goes something. No, nah, it's just a house key. Nah, it's not bad. I'm not upset with that box either. So let's see. The these two boxes we had the two Game Boy games. Probably another twenty-ish. 25. We got some collectibles. That's good. Pictures. Older has trucks. I think it's pictures or something. Saved a lot of those postcards. iPhone box. Sometimes people hide other things besides iPhones in the iPhone box, but now we got a brand new, uh, that's pretty cool, the charger port. I can sell all those, the headphones. Better than a lot of stuff. I used to use this for eBay, the Celebrity Shot camera. Um, it's nice and light, and it takes a very good close photo. 
So I don't know if you're using a camera for eBay, this isn't a bad one. A lot of people though just use their iPhone now and transfer the photos. I like this box though, it's not a not a bad box. We got a Samsung remote, does that go to it's probably a TV remote. But that's probably sellable, it's a nice new one. Got like one, two, three, four, five. I don't know, probably even at five bucks each, the Hess trucks would be doing pretty good. One, two, three, probably another thirty dollars in Hess trucks and fifteen bucks in the iPhone accessories. kitchen and yeah, it's all kitchen stuff kitchen stuff's good it sells well kitchen's probably 20 30 bucks just for the stuff in the kitchen box of course that busted that sucks that was a good mirror uh, let's see is it all valentine's day no it's not all some Easter and other stuff. St. Patrick's. I like to celebrate their holidays. Wheelchair feet. I'm gonna put that over with my scrap probably. Some more personal stuff. Boxes are good. Dun, dun, dun. All right, last chance for video games, I think. We got some sweaters, because these two boxes look like kitchen. Let's see something Xbox, Xbox One. That would be awesome. Don't think it's in here though, just because I don't see a TV. See the TV, you tend not to get them. Are these the original iPhones? Let's see. Yeah. They're all busted, but eh, somebody might want some of the parts inside them. A ton of little signs. And precious moment. Uh, little things probably 10 or 12 of those oh well no Xbox One a lot of precious moments so that's pretty cool I'd say this box is Batman shot glass down there. That's kind of fun. I know I'm saying that's kind of fun a lot. <laughs> it's different though. Yeah, and a whole nother bag of precious moments. So this is probably like a $50 bin. Sweaters will sell pretty well coming up with the cold. I guess we have to check the boxes, the bottom of these boxes of kitchen, but it, no, it's all kitchen stuff. Kitchen stuff's good. That's the reason you do these rooms is because all this household is what really makes you money at the flea market. All right, so I guess that's about it. Thank you everybody for watching. Um, I'll see you guys later. Peace. If anybody was wondering, I got this room for about 250 bucks. Um, definitely got more than that in flea market stuff. Uh, but there was no ghetto gold. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Uh, so, I don't know. We'll have to buy another one. In the pursuit of ghetto gold. <laughs>